set up a cell for Sokolov in the old kennel. Shackles and everything. It'll be a shock, him waking up in the straw and old dog poop. But from what I hear, he's woken up worse places. Guess we all have at that. I doubt a dozen soldiers could have done it better. Sokolov's knowledge will enable us to strike at the Lord Regent directly, and ultimately help you get your life back. Soon, we won't have to hide in the shadows. The Royal Physician is brilliant, but he was a fool to protect the Lord Regent. Sokolov gave us the elixir, the war machines. He could have made us a great nation. Now he pays the price for siding with a time. You have my thanks, sir. If you wish to get some sleep, now is a good time. Corvo, wake up! You were making funny faces while you were sleeping. I decided to nap here in your room while Callista was taking her bath. She told me if there's ever trouble, I should always run here. Calista will come get me when she's done with her bath. Thanks, Corvo. It makes me feel better. Physician. I believe you and Corvo knew each other in former days. Unlike you, our friend Corvo knows what loyalty means. Bah! I am loyal to my inner spirit. You are the one consorting with the most wanted man in the Empire. It's my belief that Corvo was innocent in the death of the Empress, and the former spymaster, or the Lord Regent, as he calls himself, is a ruthless tyrant bent on destroying this city, the heart of the Empire. You are mistaken if you think there's love between me and our Lord Regent. But whatever you intend to do here, I assure you, I am beyond petty scare tactics. If I don't scare you, Sokolov, perhaps these rats will. Even if they don't carry plague, I've heard of a swarm of rats stripping a child's body to the bone in half a minute. I've heard worse. How long do you think it'll be before you talk? Before you beg to talk? Rats? Is that the company you keep now, Admiral? It's the company you keep that interests us so long. We know you painted a portrait of the Lord Regent's mistress, the very aristocrat who is funding the military with her fortune. She is the key to the Lord Regent's control over the city, and we must have her name. Sorry, Admiral. I cannot help you. You're part of this rabble, but I know you have your reasons. Yes, he does. All we need is the name of the Lord Regent's mistress. It's very simple. I elect not to tell you. You will have to force the words from me, and I warn you, my willpower is quite legendary. Sorry, sir. Not right. Stop! Stop! I will tell you what you need to know. I'm obliged to safeguard Dunwall's greatest intellectual asset. I can only tell you so much. I was not permitted to see her face or hear her full name. She called herself Lady Boyle. You see, I painted her from behind. I assure you, she still makes a striking portrait. But I do not know which Boyle she is. I was to be introduced to her at a masked ball in her honor this very night. But I will miss that party, it seems. A masked ball at the Boyle Estate. Tonight, the timing is perfect, Corvo. But the Boyles are wealthy and ruthless, so security will be very tight. 
Of course, you already have a mask, don't you, Corvo? Yes, you will be able to mingle with them once you're on the grounds. You'll have to find out which of the Boyle women is connected to the Lord Regent, and take her out whatever way you can devise. We're very close now. Corvo, if you do this tonight, we'll be able to strike at the Lord Regent himself and put Emily on the throne. May the wind favor you. I hear you're off to the Boyle's little bash tonight. I have just a tiny favor I'd like to ask you. Could you give this note to Lord Shaw? You'll know him. A rather brusque man wearing a wolf's mask. In fact, he may be looking for me. Have you ever been in the The Boyle costume ball, huh? Well, that'll be fun, but not for everybody. You ready? Great, the Lord Regent's pulling out all the stops for the Boyle family. I didn't think there'd be tall boys patrolling here tonight. Watch yourself, Corvo. They don't fool around. The good news is, once you get to the party, that mask of yours will let you blend right in. Enjoy your evening out with the folk of quality. Better you than me. Is that what you dreamed of? All those months in Cold Ridge Prison while waiting for the executioner? Wealth, beautiful women in the latest fashions, laughing and drinking Tibian wine. And what of the host, Lady Boyle? I can see all her tomorrows, and I know that either she dies tonight at your hand, or she'll live out her days, month after month, year after year, far away, even as her fine clothes wear into tatters and her silken hair gets dull and gray. Half the city can see the lights from the party and they dream of the delights inside. Will you tear it all to pieces? Either way, it's Lady Boyle's last party. Please, yes. Um, they're eccentric fancies. 
I suppose we've no choice but to play. It's going to be brilliant. It's going to be in Right this way, sir. If you're not going to have fun, I should cut maybe you should entirely. go home. I'll struggle off once we locate the wine. Harold takes pride in being difficult. As much as you take in being easy. Shall we go in? Emma insisted we meet her out by the curb. Ah, Mr. Bundy. Just had someone here pretending to be you. Welcome. Another party game. It was fun for a season, but now. Hello. Careful. We tried for a peek upstairs, and the man on duty is an ass. Welcome to the boil some manners. Please move along. Did you hear about Mrs. Grimsby? You'll never What is it now? She had her job. Excuse me, my cousin. Careful. The wall of light is a gift from the Lord Regent, designed to keep his good friends safe. And the I doubt you qualify. Nonsense. Waverly just Scary mask. Evening, sir. Later we should meet for a smoke. You should see this as an opportunity. To what? Learn a trade. Join the city watch. You there, stop Your house that. built its fortune in crisis. I can't say they didn't have any Hold on. I need a cigar. What mischief are you up to? If you want to be beaten, go right ahead. Let your... I know your mission tonight. We must speak. Privately. Sure, I can get you a good price. You son of a bitch. Good evening. There's the old pirate spirit. Things are... <laughs> <laughs> I beg your pardon. I'm a friend of Pendleton's, and I've done a few favors for your cause. I know your purpose here tonight, and how to say this, your target is the woman I love. I swear that if you'll bring her to me unharmed, you will never hear of her again. There's a cellar directly below the kitchen. I'll wait for you there. I'm not proud of this, but surely it's better than seeing her killed. Her name is Esma. I won't harm her, I swear. I'm a man of means. Just bring her to the cellar, and I will keep her safe with me. Forever. There you are. Although at this stage, I don't know who we... Lord Shaw's waiting for Pendleton in the garden. But I don't think he's coming. Poor Trevor. Everyone will know he's a coward now.
Pendleton? Hmm. What's he got to say to me? Pendleton is a gutless lying sack of shit. I hope he's paying you well for this. It's damn cold tonight. Hurry up, and let's see what you're made of. Lord Pendleton's representative will select his weapon. A contest of honor will take place. This anonymous gentleman acting for the challenger, Lord Trevor Pendleton, and Lord Shaw, the challenged party. You will each turn and proceed to the marked positions and remain facing away from each other as I count down from three. You may then turn and fire at Get will. on with it. I'll kill this fool and we can all go back inside. Sorry, my lord. We shall proceed. Stop! Stand right there. Three. Two. One. Don't remember it. Good evening. The rats can excuse me. Enjoying yourself? Oh. Hello, handsome. I'm already seeing two of you, but thanks anyway. You're serious, aren't you? I'm really in danger? Oh, but this is perfect. I love it. What happens next? Are you gonna tie me up? Oh, yes, of course I can. Anything. You? A gentleman? I'll have you know I'm as gentle as I need to be in any given situation. As I think I've proven. I told you not to... <laughs> Bless you. You Stop there. It. Stop that. I say nothing against the Lord Regent. He's the only one holding this together. He'll make us great again. Some of us will be great. The Boyles, at least. Excuse me. Ricardus claims... Beat it! You shouldn't be here. No guests past this point. What shall we do with ourselves? You found her! Quickly, let's get her on board! At last, oh my love, someday you will understand. You'll never know how happy you've made me. Someday she'll learn to appreciate me. After all, she'll have her whole life.
Okay, move it along. Doing all right there? I think you'll get your room. Welcome the to party's the indoors this time. Cold night, sir. Warmer indoors. Hope you enjoyed your evening, sir. But we'd best be on our way. Quickly. <laughs> 